The NBA, though, seems to be going off without a hitch now. There are players down in the bubble. And I, I'll tell you what, we talked about... <laughs> <laughs> we talked about the bubble down there in Orlando, and there was a lot of conversation about, you know, like how that could be tough if you're down there for 35 to 40 days. You're not allowed to have your family. A lot of these guys potentially enjoy maybe having intercourse once every couple months, and there is a thought that maybe a thought could potentially be already be invited down there like day four into this thing. She went viral on the internet yesterday. But the thought of going down into this bubble was one that a lot of players, uh, I, I probably had concerns about then they saw the food the first batch of food wasn't great and it was posted about then jr smith obviously saw some candy in there and he was like what is this even in here why is this even an option but aside from that it's been a lot of positive stuff glitz and glamour coming out of that orlando bubble right now you got guys fishing in a bass tournament down there the uh, pelicans were golfing down mm -hmm. there you got full ping pong set up you got guys shotgunning beers you got a practice uh uh basically hotel area conference room to your Yourself, it feels like the NBA is spending maybe $10 billion <laughs> down here at Disney, but it feels like they are setting them up almost for like a man camp. It feels like they've gone to like this man camp for the next 35, 40, maybe 80 days if you win this thing. I don't know when they're going to get bored of all this. I don't know when they're going to get sick of staying in the hotel room and eating the same food and, and doing that, but it feels like the NBA has really bent over backwards to try to make this as accommodating as possible, and I think a lot of players are appreciative of it if you keep up with them over the weekend as as opposed to the thoughts going in it's been very different on the other side yeah be besides the small little complaints about like the food and maybe the hotels from a couple of people it seems like they're having a great time down there it really does i mean paul george uh former pacer he had a house on the lake here because he loved fishing like he next level fisherman almost like addicted to fishing when he's not shooting hoops okay when he's not shooting hoops he's out there fishing and he pulled out a big old boy out of there i assume there's potential gators that they could be steve Irwinning yeah, too i mean yeah. way gonna move on and up to different things to have a good time but golf is happening down there and i would assume that the boys who are trying to get some thought choppers in there saw that the animal kingdom opened up for a lot of fans maybe saw a tree or two that was maybe missing and say <laughs> hey we can sneak you through the back door but you can't hey the enemy is always within your own camp. Mm -hmm. They bring in some coronavirus. You have no idea. Whole thing stops immediately. Mm -hmm. But I think 10, 15 days in there, it's going to be tough for some people to stay focused on, hey, we're just at man camp down here having a good time, 35, 40 days. That's all it is. No big deal. That could potentially get in there. But boy, what a setup down there. Maybe I keep working on the J because Rajon Rondo's yeah. uh, thumb is yeah. obviously fractured. That's right. Maybe I keep working on it. Have they mentioned anything for the NHL players to do extracurricularly? Because if I were one of those players and going up there and you see these guys in the nba like playing golf every couple days like i'd be pissed if well and vegas was supposed to be one of them yeah. right so mm -hmm. vegas has a lot of things oh. to do over there i don't know edmonton or toronto we love toronto been up toronto Toronto's a couple times great. but i don't know if you're locked in somewhere what you're going to be able to do edmonton's pitch to the league included this nice fantastic golf resort that they have up there so i'm assuming that's a lot but then you hear the fines for the toronto thing and i don't know it's like conflicting reports well edmonton toronto you know it's a case by case basis it sounds like toronto is locked down locked down i wonder how the mls guys feel because oh. they're in the same area you know but i haven't seen a lot of golfing or fishing or no. ping ponging from the mls guys but the mls guys have been very quiet about this all there's one picture i guess of a bad meal it looked like uh the fire fest meal there mm -hmm. from the beginning yep. but aside from that hasn't been a lot of chatter about how the mls has been handling this down in orlando and i've been watching a lot of mls by the way late night games early morning games when there is an afl on i've been watching the mls last night oh man goalie gets a red card late down uh teams down 1-0 goalie uh, other team goalie gets a red card they score two in uh extra time oh. all of a sudden they steal a win down there in orlando now granted compared to the premier league it is a much different style <laughs> of soccer much much different but i've enjoyed watching competition late night but they have to be seeing what the nba is doing and they're like damn they're what half a mile away from us and these guys are living this incredible life what are we doing we're playing games at 11 o'clock at night and 4 a.m in the morning <laughs> and we're locked in our rooms and we're only allowed to get meals it's a different world down there but that is the importance of keeping it biodumed mm -hmm. if you have that biosphere remember adam silver said there's some people that are going to be delivering stuff that won't even be breathing the same air that the players will be breathing they're trying to keep them locked down completely it'll be intriguing intriguing to see how it plays i out. did see some videos of the mls teams outside like playing cornhole and instead of ping pong they had the 
<clears throat> the soccer ping pong where they use your head and head and feet instead of oh yeah uh, tech hey, ball. Hey, that's a great. The have you ever seen the actual table it's curves? Yeah, it actually yeah. curves down. Mm -hmm. That looks like a good time. I, I used to be a rather good soccer player. I think I would be god-awful at that. <laughs> really? That looks very, very difficult. Too much leg? No, it looks a very, very difficult. There's a lot of control on that thing. There's mm. a lot of, I mean, that is a. You hop up on the table. And yeah, diving, sprawling on the thing. I like that they're doing that. I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, but that's what I saw as far as the MLS. Yeah, but aside from that, you haven't really hear, heard much from them. That NHL stuff is interesting. You normally don't hear much from them. Yeah, literally. Like, ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't even get their games on ESPN. So, well, well they are on ESPN. Oh, they are. That's where I'm Come watching. On. Phew. Have a little respect. Well, the Revs game. I mean, me and Fox, big Revs guys. That big one was time. on a uh, Spanish-speaking channel, so yeah. we couldn't even understand. Oh, the commentary. Oh, Tudin or T U D N. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah, you're right. That was a terrible ordeal. Oh, just like golf, though. You're gonna bash golf. They can't even get their final round with two young studs battling and out. Justin Thomas up three, uh, going into a final three holes. Total collapse. More Kawa comes in. They go to uh, extra holes. All of a sudden, he drains a big putt. Justin Thomas drains a big putt. Throwing the backside. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get a win. You don't. You do. You, I don't see you making fun of golf like you just did soccer there no no i won't make fun of golf today and uh, but i will make fun of golf eventually absolutely hey.